What's up guys and thank you for watching. This will be part two of our FL350 Odyssey build. If you didn't see the first one, uh, I'll put a link in the description and if I can make it work, I'll put one of those links on the screen up here. Never actually done that, so it'll be something to try and figure out. But uh, yeah, we're still working on it. We got, uh, obviously all this was done a while ago and I got all the videos where Sam did the work. So this project, putting together these couple of videos, I got one more of really to build and we'll be able to drive it. Uh, it was one of the most challenging editing things for me. I'm by no means a pro, this is just a hobby to me. But Sam and Robert helped a lot with getting this together. I mean, you see Sam did most of the work so far. And these videos were filmed over the course of about the last 15 months by multiple different people at multiple different times and like for example Sam just gave me a data download of literally over a hundred gigabytes of videos that uh, just raw unedited videos of him working on the Odyssey and whatnot and it was awesome and I mean wow thanks Sam for filming it and putting it together so well but to receive all that when you sift through all of that material it's challenging uh, so yeah, it was a lot of work to go through all that material and to put that together into something coherent where you kind of get something out of it. It takes some effort. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, after this one, we'll have one more on the build where we should be actually driving the Odyssey. Real excited to show you that. But uh, hope you enjoyed the build. Our, our thought process here was not to be a how-to, but kind of how we did it give you some ideas so i think that's what youtube's great for is getting ideas see how someone else did something and maybe it gives you an idea to do something similar or you just enjoy the build so hope you enjoy it and here you go working on the exhaust today and you can see what i've already done i've uh taken out uh a fair chunk out of the uh this exhaust manifold, uh, which used to stick way back into the seat, and uh, I cut a big chunk out of it. I put this uh, uh, 90 degree bend in it. This is two inch uh, round uh, exhaust tubing, and uh, I folded it down a little bit. The exhaust is a little bit closer to the uh, starter, which is underneath it, um, and that'll help with the, the clearance uh, uh, with the seat. Um, the further down I go, the more room I have to put the exhaust. And so this comes out at um, about a 90 degree angle. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, um, factory joining piece here to join the rest of the exhaust to go up um, over the uh, CVT and out the back. Um, but I've got a fair amount of uh, work to do on that expansion chamber, which I have over here. Now the expansion chamber had uh, some kind of outer casing on it that looked had a tube that went to uh, the head of the engine, which I'm guessing um, helped warm the uh, engine up uh, a little bit quicker on really cold days uh, on the snowmobile. Um, but I've uh, cut that housing out to make the uh, uh, exhaust a fair amount smaller and just expose the uh, expansion chamber. And so I can set this into place. And so it's going to fit in there somewhere like that. Um, I've got to make it join up to the exhaust manifold, um, but that shouldn't take too much. I'm just going to cut some chunks out of the middle here um, and work it in there and then make an exhaust hanger and that should be a pretty clean setup it's not too monstrously large uh, it won't be hanging out the side um, of the uh, the buggy and uh, should fit in there pretty nice all together Thank you. 
took the uh, wiring out of the snowmobile and uh, we hadn't cut anything off of it. It's still pretty raw. Um, we found out that the starter switch is, is broken, um, but the electric start on this motor is still good. So I'm gonna use a jumper cable to uh, jump that. We got a, uh, a battery set up with it and uh, Tim has uh, got the fuel ready to roll. So we're gonna see if we can't get it started just to make sure everything's working in the buggy. Uh, once we know everything's working in the buggy, then we can start uh, uh, cleaning up the wiring and getting other things mounted in here. And I just want to hear it start again. Let's see, where'd my jumper wire go? Oh, right there, sir. Yeah. Give us some gas. All right, so uh, four hours later, uh, we got this thing figured out. Uh, we found out that you didn't need the wiring harness plugged in at all uh, to make this thing run, so we completely got rid of that. We were having trouble with the, uh, the spark plugs firing, and, and uh, we couldn't figure out what the problem was and found out that uh, uh, it was a bad plug. And we weren't testing both plugs, we were just testing one of them. And uh, once we saw that one of them was firing, we pulled the plug uh, um, from another engine and got it going. And uh, let's see if we can't get it fired up. Where's my little wire? I lose this thing every time I put it down. Hook it to yourself. Oh yeah, we got some. cage um, I could buy a new one if I wanted to but uh, it's pretty expensive and so it should only take me a few hours to, to cobble together another cage for it uh, I'm making it out of inch and a half tubing and I've already got my first piece bent here and it's gonna sit in there something like that I have another Odyssey cage that I'm uh, taking measurements off of and so uh, I can get uh, this cage to be pretty close to what the, uh, the factory looks like. Um.